Yo, we're in. JJ, Notre Dame, the Toronto, the Toronto Hurricane. I have a question. Oh no! What is it? it, it it's a. Uh... <laughs> you ever, you ever been, you ever been fucking this twink in the park, and then does the cops show up, and then instead of giving you a ticket, they fucking fuck you in the ass? Uh, that was That's... actually a fantasy of mine. I'm sure. I... I'm sure. JJ, let me. You guys know JJ from the Patreon episodes of the podcast, right? JJ, he did an episode recently. The guys loved you. He said, Fuck yeah. He said, bring him back for the muggles, dude. He said, bring him back for the fucking the for rats, the, the muggles, the people that listen to the pod. Oh, dude. that's the name. Well, no, that's the people that listen to the pod that don't su support the Patreon. It's only a dollar, folks. The, what are you the, doing? What are you doing? Uh, the muggle. What do you call them? The mung a, a muggle. A muggle. You know what I call my podcast? I wish, what? The, f the, the podcast for the elite losers. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That is fair. Because it's only like 15 to 20 people every week. And it's but that's all you need. Oh, but it's just losers. If that was a gang. I'm the leader of the losers. Yeah. Well, you know, you'll get some DMs after this. They're not going to really change their fucking... <laughs> <laughs> there won't be no solicitors hitting you up, my friend. The solicitor, I believe, is an Irish word for a lawyer that you use over here. No, right, before, because JJ's a maniac, and he's always just going to be like, you ever fuck these little, <laughs> you fucking twink, and you fucking come in his soup, and then he eats the fucking soup on, on webcam? I don't, I actually don't do the food with sex. No? Nah, nah I, I like food after sex. Who doesn't like food after sex? I don't know. I, I prefer, I'll, I'll, I'd rather... Have sex on an empty stomach. With a boy, by the way, folks. Over the age of 19. With a boy. Well, yeah, whatever. What, I'm not. You're not into kids, but you're, no. into, you're into boys. <laughs> I think I said that on the Patreon. What, that you're into boys? No. <laughs> I don't think. I don't. I, well, they wanted you back, JJ. I guess inevitably. I don't remember that part. I don't. I said of I don't remember even thinking. Should I bleep that out? Of all the crazy things that I'm into, I just thank God. Maybe I tell Che that when we're on the road. Uh, of all the craziness, Che, Durando. che Dur has he done this? No, no. But, oh, you gotta have him. He would. He would do this. He, 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 yeah, bring him on. A black guy in this neighborhood. <laughs> all right, okay, folks. <laughs> a black guy on this podcast. Jesus Christ! This side of the river. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you fucking have the press here and the mayor. <laughs> You'd have to tell him to do. Uh, uh, bring your white half. <laughs> yeah. Bring, that would be a great skill. Bring your white half? If you could. JJ, shut the fuck up and let me do this ad read right before because we're going to we're gonna fucking lose the ad. sponsor. I needed. Yeah. We, the whole idea was to get this out of the way at the beginning. So before you get in with all of your fucking whatever black guy was able to just fucking not be black. <laughs> and wouldn't that be a great skill? <laughs> what? Who the fuck says that? Who says that? <laughs> Imagine how talented you would. Why don't they just do that? The greatest thing LeBron James could ever do was convert to white when he needed to. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Shape shift. Hair plugs are a real white guy thing, isn't it? Um, all right, look, today's episode is brought to you by True Classics. I'm wearing it right now. I'm, I'm branded up. It's True Classics. You know True Classics? Bing. It's the type of... Assuming... The losers that listen to your podcast and the losers that listen to this podcast. I'm assuming your timeline w for like Instagram ads and stuff is quite similar where it's all just it's like some fat loser <laughs> and he's outside in the rain <laughs> on a date and they're like, why are you? A he's like, oh, I'm such a fat loser. And they're like, no, you're not. It's your shirt. It you're not wearing the right shirt. It's it's you're wearing a shirt designed for some little twinkie boy that JJ has locked in his basement. Right. And. You should be wearing a fat man shirt. You're a, you've got a dad bod, despite being 38 with no kids. You've developed a dad bod. <laughs> so upgrade your style. I wear them all the time. They're, they're just, oh, that's one right there. Yeah, it's not bad, but I, I don't feel like I, I, I'm relatively. Oh, there you go. I'm in better shape than I've used. And it, so basically, that's what I was saying. I was doing the. It hangs loose. The tits it hangs loose. The, tit, the tits don't show. Your man tits. My man tits do not show. But why do do fat guys still adjust? Fat guys adjust t-shirts a lot. I don't know why. Yeah, they just gotta wear hoodies. The hoodies is the go-to. I'm a fat piece of shit. I'm wearing a hoodie. They've actually sent me a fuck. I don't. I, I'll get it. They sent me a sweater. It's not oh, bad. Yeah. It's not a bad little sweater. I look like a little country boy from Ireland, but to sing you a song. Upgrade your style for 2024 with True Classics. They have incredibly comfortable t-shirts. I'm wearing one right now. Um. Uh, look, no matter what you're trying to do, whether you want to go to the gym or to a fancy night out, 
that's the type of clientele. <laughs> we want an all-in-one shirt here for you fat fucks. Go to the gym. Get the classic t-shirt and, and fucking just in, embrace it. And look at his hat. Not bad. I love them. I love true classics. So if you're ready to upgrade your closet, shop now with my exclusive link at trueclassic.com slash collie, C-O-L-L-I-E, and save up to 25% of your first order. Make 2024 your most stylish year yet with True Classics. Not bad, folks. We did it. Look at that in one take, too. We And you know what? That also saves me in time. I don't have to edit out stuff in post. And did you hear the bing I included? I meant to say ding. Oh, you did a little bing, did you? I went, yeah, but I should have done, I think so. That was as soon as you brought it up, I went ding, like someone bought it. Oh, oh, like a cash, res- cash register? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me and you just do sound effects now. For Okay, okay, okay. What's this one? That's this one. Please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. I'm not armed. What's that one? That's uh, the That's... black guy who didn't morph into the white. See? That's a black guy who didn't have enough white training, for sure. He, he, for didn't, sure. he didn't have the skill set that we were just talking about. That Che can... Because Che's half white, half black. Yeah, but we all, we all white it up, you know? It's just... It is. It's not fair that it's considered being more white, but like if you go into a job interview, you do become more hello, you know, hello, yeah, and, right. and please, hello. I'd love to. I'd love to eat your. Can I eat ass in the? <laughs> do you have any questions, JJ? Uh, what? Can I'm allowed to eat ass in the canteen? Or when was the last time you've had a job interview? Oh, not forever. I what? can't remember forever. Do you remember what they're like? I can't honestly. I can't remember the last time I had a job interview. Yeah, I, I, so probably for a bar somewhere, yeah, dude. Like, and they treat it serious. Like, yeah. you have to, you have to go in and yeah. be nice and yeah. But it's usually the people that are, have some shit coffee job, coffee shop job where they're like, okay, and tell us why do you want to make? Why do you want to oh, work at Starbucks? That, where do you see? I where but do you like, see yourself? Yeah, but this is what. What do you think we're doing here? Well, this is an IHOP. I don't want to. I don't. Yeah, I'm sure if I'm working for Goldman Sachs, I understand asking me some questions. But like, I'm here to mop up someone puking. Yeah, in a Waffle House. I'm here to, I'm here to, pre- to get a chair thrown at me by a black woman at two a.m. in the morning. That's, <laughs> that's what mostly Waffle House is. You just getting beaten up by a sassy black bitch. That's mostly what your job at Waffle House is. It, it literally is when you. I've been into a like a McDonald's on the road because I love McDonald's iced coffee. Shout out McDonald's iced coffee. And you're there, and I've seen like uh, a sixteen year old kid being interviewed by a 30-year-old manager and the manager takes it way too serious and the kid's probably stoned out of their mind and they have to get a job or else their parents will kick their ass. Yeah, yeah. McDonald's was my first real job. Was it really? My first real job. I worked with my dad and I did other like little bullshit, like, you know. But like you you worked for the-, the... Worked for the I worked for the Donald, dude. Was I it worked, terrible? I worked for Ronnie. <laughs> it was so fine. You don't make money doing that, do you? No. And they take union fees, right? I can't remember uh, about that. I can't remember union fees. This is the most uh, uninteresting curiosity I've nah, had in my in my life. Now nah, it was a good job, but you know, in Ireland, you can you can pay people who are under eighteen less than people who are over eighteen. Yeah, you're right. Did yeah. you know that? Yeah, as you should, child labor. Yeah, I guess. You, you should learn yeah. how to fucking work when you're a kid. And not, yeah, okay, that's fair enough. But and when, not make when, money. But when you're 16, you can get a job legally, proper job. Yeah. You can get like, bullshit jobs. No one's going to give a fuck about But you, you can't work for an actual organization or anything. Right. So then once uh, I went, I, I, I moved, I went to Tesco. Do you know Tesco? No. Tesco's like a kind of walmart oh yeah Target-y. a big box superstore yeah there's a big superstore of gross yeah. groceries and all sorts of shit and oh, but the they pe- but they paid you adult rates and are the people that go there similar would you say that about like where walmart walmart's uh, just a joke it's just trash <laughs> is Anyone? it oh yeah real dude. real scumbag walmart just scum is it fat fucking people yeah well what? they're fat everywhere right you, you never this is literally going to ohio in two weeks and I'm literally saying it's like there's nobody. At, I'm the. This is a big problem when I go to some of these places, and of, I'm, we're on the road with a lot of these dates, folks. Do not allow JJ to uh, discourage you from buying tickets to my shows. All right, JJ <laughs> might be fatphobic. Bring you and your fat wife. I'm, 
I'm not fat phobic. Uh, wow, well, that, that, these fucking sloppy cows I'm, are I, fucking waddling through Walmart. And I'm just fucking, saying it's a problem. I go when, to Ohio and I'm one of the best looking fucking. <laughs> when I am one of the best, when I'm considered better looking than most of the people in the club, there, there's a problem with that state. Oh, there's a guy in his tractor right now fuming. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, there's some country bumpkin <laughs> listening to this on his on a radio somehow. Do you think and ugly then, people don't know they're that disgusting? Because I look look at myself right now and on the right like and i'm like not bad it is a tough one do you remember that time that real ugly tennis bitch went viral because everyone called her ugly serena williams no oh no <laughs> the williams sisters not bad yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you ever heard the theory about them too no. that they're men I'm sh it's not much of a theory. That's just some guy looked at them and went, no way. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, I don't think that's a theory. That's just a thousand different people went, nah. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get uh, pretty early to catch this fucking worm, all right? That's a fucking... Who was the ugly bitch? Was it a Russian? I, honestly, I don't remember at all, but I it was like during Wimbledon or something. Recently? Uh, in the last few years. Five years, maybe. And people were just calling her a fucking cow? Just, yeah, they went nuts, dude. Were they... <laughs> <laughs> They're only hitting the ball at you because they wanted to hit you. Yeah, pig. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because that's how she got so good at those, those people. The locals would throw rocks at her, and she, <laughs> she would fucking smack them back. Dude. That's it. The ugliest girl in all of Nairobi. Um, yeah, oh, but so she was not. I don't know what she was. I can't even remember. I think she was like from maybe from New Zealand or maybe one of that. Polynesian, but honestly, I'm guessing. Oh, well, she I, was I, the I, islander of the she, like. She won this like the semi final or something of Wimbledon, I think, or maybe she won the whole tournament. I honestly can't remember, but I just remember everyone going, "Oof!" Like the <laughs> comment, the, the global, it was trending on Twitter as "oof." <laughs> like no, it wasn't like it wasn't anyone saying much. They go, "Congratulations," but "oof," Jesus. <laughs> Oh, she needs <laughs> she needs a win this one, the and then all the girls came out going, "You chauvinistic pigs!" Not the tennis players, and um, maybe some of the tennis players. Just I don't the, know, just the blue haired land whales. Just the blue haired girls were like, but it is interesting because I wouldn't like to go viral for being ugly. Oh, I would love that. I know. I in a way I wouldn't hate it, <laughs> but at the same time, <laughs> but like if you're a, there is a weird thing where it's like. It's it is hurts your feelings. No matter how ugly you are or how dumb you are. Of course, you've been someone, bullied. When someone tells you the the fact, the yeah. facts are is that you're n not that great at anything. <laughs> when someone tells you that, it is there is a little part of you go, oh. That's the punishment of n living now. Is because if you are somewhat successful, um, if you weren't successful and ugly, you'd be made fun of. You'd be made fun of growing, you know, you just are made fun of life. Yeah. People are cruel. Yeah. People are nice, but a lot of people are cruel and you get teased. Dude, I, I was born in the 80s. They would make fun of people who were like retarded when I was <laughs> when I was growing up. And it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. We, we don't know how to do. <laughs> it was fine to make fun. Of, yeah, it was of fine and it was fun and fat and anything like it was. It yeah. was just fair game. But now, now if you have some like, have you ever seen the fat trans chick? Oh man, which, she, wow, which one? Which one? <laughs> what are you talking about? Man, she was like the beast or whatever. That she went viral. <laughs> Who's talking about how she's the beast, like Beauty and the Beast type of thing? Oh yeah, it was brutal. I forget what it was, but man, she went super viral, and she was like, she was also Polynesian. But man, it's a rough beat. There are rough people out they, there. Something about the, the weather or something makes them big. Like not a way like not a way like insects on the on the bottom of the floor get huge. Not a way animals get huge in the ocean because of the pressure of the environment. It's the same with women from New Zealand. <laughs> it's like there's something about that fucking playing rugby and <laughs> it gets them. No offense, no offense out there, but they they've got some blocky fucking. Dude, people. I, there are blocky people. The poly, the police. Yeah, yeah. You got to survive on that small island, man. Was, yeah. Your genetics are made to survive. I had a, uh, I don't know what she was yesterday, but she was checking me out at the uh, checking me out. No, she was checking me out at the grocery store. <laughs> okay, but okay. also, she was checking <laughs> me out. Oh, those she, thirsty okay. eyes. <laughs> nice. She was giving me the eye. I tell you, she not had, not. I give me the eye. She gave me her prosthetic eye. Oh, dude. She had like stubble, like uh, aggressive. 
not as much as your chin hair, but mm. she was like she was like a, a BBW uh, with plus fifty pounds. Okay, and she had the uh, and there's like people talking to her. Oh, I'm like, no. yo, don't anybody ever tell you buy a razor, bitch? Okay. Like she's a female. She's just a female, hairy female woman. J just the, uh, just this one so why did you so you're just bringing up the fact that you saw a real ugly woman yesterday that's the, that's the whole thing <laughs> I, that you I, brought I, to this table i interacted oh you brought that i interacted with a woman bro i inter <laughs> i interacted with an ugly woman yesterday and that you you wrote that down on the way sometimes people prep stories for a pod you have that on your notes <laughs> chin hair woman yeah chin hair woman at costco she was so gross yeah no the costco wouldn't hire her no they wouldn't let her in. i actually wonder if they think that like when people are getting hired they're like you can't work for me you're just so disgusting that's gotta be yeah it is funny because people if... obviously have seen people and go i can't look at this goofy face and then you'll just through your own bias will find a flaw well he didn't finish top of his class in harvard so <laughs> You're out of here, pig face. <laughs> and then some other fucking beautiful, I dropped out of school. I'm going to get in here, baby. Yeah, that's how they used to, uh, the good old days when you could. The good uh, old days when we could just. Hire a woman. Uh, I was watching the White House Plumbers. Have you seen that with Woody Harrelson? No. Oh, my God. It's about um, it's about uh, Nixon, the Watergate okay. breaking. It's one of the funniest things I've seen on HBO. And there's a. It's supposed to be a comedy, isn't it? Oh, it's it's hilarious. What's called White House people? White House plumbers. Because okay. it's it's a story of the Watergate break in and how many times they fucked up and they just yeah. had these degenerate it's like literally like com they hired comics to break in people who worked in government, but mm. they're like absolute fucking retards. And one of the scenes is the boss of I I, I don't know whatever fact like whatever three letter, you know, CIA FBI, but the hot secretary is walking around with his tennis racket and just like smacks her in the ass in the morning and she's like Ooh, and they're like yo this is how it used to be how fun i guess it used to be fun yeah when you could sexually harass people mm -hmm. but yeah. not not in a mean way not like in a come in my office let me fuck your face yeah in a, just like, a friendly little fucking fingering on the yeah, elevator just open a up your little, legs a little bit yeah just yeah, let me see that then fuck <laughs> yeah no you can't leave just and a this, friendly little nose you can't leave this is coming from a gay guy and i think it should be yeah, I guess, you know, it's just culturally thing. But then what happens is, though, you, you if you don't get exposed to that shit young, it gets worse and worse, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like someone calling you a fat-headed dope as a child. <laughs> By the time you're old, you're like, yeah, I am a fat-headed dope. But if you don't hear that till you're 20, you're like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Very optimistic we are, folks. It yeah. actually ruins you more if you hear it when you're a kid. Because then it's implemented in your head that you're just some dope and you have to like go through all this. That's the trauma. That can't be right. Yeah, no, no, no. I actually, it is. A, that's what the PTSD comes from. So many people are depressed. They don't, and it's like from their childhood shit. It's where if you go, you know, you've never seen someone, you're like, yo, your mother hugs you way too much. Just some ugly person with confidence. They were just never told that they fucking stink. I know, but then when they do get told now that they stink, it hurts them so much more, you know? It's like, uh, a, it's like a fatty, someone who's fat, you know, fat female comics come on stage, you go, yo, I'm fat, whatever, I'm beautiful. Oh, too much, no, you that's know? a Lizzo effect though. The Lizzo effect. That's a body positivity thing. They've built up this armor, which is fake, mm. until someone goes, to, cause they don't think they can get shot anymore. Right, and then someone does say you're fat, and then because oh. <laughs> you can't say it now. Yeah, well, but that armor is not as strong as they think it is. That's why they have. A, that's why fat people have confidence. What happened now. to Liz? Liz fucking kind of fucking fell off the face of the earth, huh? Yeah, <laughs> thing almost happened. flipped over this fucking thing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> if the earth was flat, how come we didn't flip over and fucking Lizzo did our Lizzo did our tour in the Middle East? Oh man. Um, I sat beside someone who had to have a seatbelt extender once on the plane. Oh no! And she like whispered. She's like, "Hey, can I, uh, can I get that seatbelt extender?" And I was just in the seat beside her, and I had to go like, "Where, this. where was it? Where, where was the?" Oh, she she said it to the person walking by, the flight attendant. Oh, but I had to cover my face because I was laughing so hard. I, just, I like in those moments. How do you not bl a blurt like you fat bitch? I guess we all handle ourselves differently, you know. I feel like you, you like have might have Tourette's or something. You're Don't like, you wish you did have it? No. So you just go up to someone, and go, "You stinky Indian." 
You fucking smelly ass fucking Indian, stinky, stink face, fucking flying carpet Indian fuck. Don't you just wish you could say that just to fucking. <laughs> and then your handler's like, your handler's like it's fine. He, he has, has to rats. And you're the fat, fat bitch, fat, fat bitch. Seatbelt extended. The, seat belt, the belts are plenty extended. <laughs> Yeah, get, getting sandwiched in between. I, I don't really do middle seats anymore. Now that I've got like the Delta. Oh, fuck. But now that I've got the Delta stuff, I don't do middle seats. But I can imagine. Or you can't do window seats anymore. Why is that? Because the fucking uh, Boeing 78, 747, <laughs> 9 Max is the things are flying out. People are getting sucked out. You didn't see Alaska Airlines? <laughs> I saw that. Dude, <laughs> how fucking funny to be just sitting there like. Just like, you know, you're watching like a rerun of Curb or something, or you're watching some <laughs> shit fucking, some shit Tom Hanks movie that came out five years ago you never heard of. So you're just sitting there and then you just- Auto. Like, just it's hear called it, Auto. Yeah, you're watching Auto <laughs> and you're already fucking suicidal. And then you go- <laughs> <sighs> You're hungover, you're flying to fucking, yeah, you're flying to Columbus. Ohio, right? where the fat- Yeah, you're, out, you're off to the, he the, to the, <laughs> to the cows, the heifers in the Midwest. <laughs> Just some yeah. hairy knuckled. Hey. Yeah, the club brings you. Hey, we sold out last night. We, I was like, that's great. <laughs> Not really. We can only fit 10 in this fucking thing. <laughs> They're fat fucks. It's a table for a fucking cow. Seatbelt extender night. Yeah, you're sitting there. Yeah, tubby cunts beside you. <laughs> and then next thing you know, the doors are. And it just whooshed off the <laughs> Takes your shirt. It took the kid's shirt. It took a 16-year-old kid's shirt. What the fuck? And then you go, guys, we're 10 minutes from landing. Don't worry about it. Brand Pe new plane. People's phones went flying out. Kids' shirts went flying out. And I think they had to... But the funny thing is, some people just sat there like, I'll just sit here and ride this There's out. a guy, one row. I watched a video. One row behind just sitting there. I'm like, there's no fucking chance. Where would you? You would have ran down the back, dude. Run. You would have already back? been in the bathroom, mile high, mile, uh, mile my high club. Yeah, mile high with some with fucking the seat belt extender, some, some fucking tubby bitch. Yeah, <laughs> nobody would have seen us both walk in. They were no, just yeah, they're not, they're, they're, no way two people can get in there. No, that, that's why I literally I was telling. So them, funny though, the I, idea of that happening on a plane, and you're like, what the fuck? Like the odds of that happening to you. Are so low. <laughs> no, not not no. It, they they had to ground all those planes because all those planes, all those brand new seven four uh, seven thirty seven nine max or seven forty seven nine max. So the door on the outside <laughs> is coming out because they ne they didn't <laughs> screw the bolts in. They didn't screw the bolts in on any of those planes because two of the it happened on two of the planes. Did it? Dude, uh, this uh, the eight max two of the planes crashes. The nine max. This is just, this happened. Such a How do I know man. so much about you're, you're rain aeronauticals? Man. That's, you're a rain man. Thing. Yeah. That's, so a, that's your rain man coming out. Seven, the eight maxes, two crashed. One was the uh, going from India to somewhere. These. Don't mind the crashes. The crashes are only really happening out there in the fucking. No, but the. Uh, the Asians are always crashing. The eight max was a new plane. And what would happen was the pilots would, uh, there was a new software in them. That was showing that the it was it's crazy. You have to watch the documentaries on this. It's actually scary. I won't fly like when I check when I take flights, I don't fly eight max or nine max. And people that's said the, that's the name of the plane. Yeah, it's that's, a that's, it's that's a Boeing that's... eight max. And oh my Boeing... god, I wouldn't know. I couldn't tell you the single. Oh, thing. I check every flight, and people were like, "Someone told me is like nobody does that." And then I just heard on another podcast one of the biggest investor. Uh, one of the biggest uh, Facebook guys or whatever those guys are, the uh, venture capitalist. I know, I'm the brown one. Yeah, no, it's not Jamath, but that podcast. Yeah, okay. yeah uh, there's, there's four of those guys. There's four yeah, of those yeah. guys. The one guy said the exact same thing last week. He goes, I won't go on those places. He says, whoever books my flight must be nice. I tell them no, seven, 37, eight maxes. That's insane. Oh, yeah, I don't fly. So I just, I've. that's why I like Delta. Delta and don't have them on Delta? JetBlue, they have very few. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen eight max. How do you even know what type of plane? So when you book a plane, when you, when I'm going when to you book, book a, a flight, uh, you check, it always shows you what plane. You know when there's you a, click on it? There's a little it? thing of like when I ask you about the bags and stuff, and then it goes, are you autistic? And you go, yes. <laughs> and then they go, all right, here's all the information about the planes and where it's been. Oh, I watch I watch takeoffs <laughs> and landings all the time. I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> I bet just, oh, fuck it. You just did a guy beside you. How many fat bitches on that plane? How many fucking seatbelt extenders? I get very nervous with women fi uh, pilots too. 
They do Everyone not, says I'm crazy about that. No, they don't let them even do the. Don't they not, not let them speak? Oh, no. Isn't there like a thing of like a female plane driver <laughs> <laughs> goes up and then she's like, hey, everybody, we're going to be right. And everyone goes, no. Nope. So then they just have like, they just have a pre recorded, like, <laughs> like, it's like a Siri comes on. It's like, hello, I am your very male pilot. I'm going to, be, my name is Todd Johnson, your pilot and white man. I am your white pilot. <laughs> well, there are airlines that are doing DEI. Well, imagine you hear some little fucking chick up there. Who fucking, United. A little Chinese chick. Imagine yeah. you're on a plane and then you go, hello. <laughs> yeah, me, me your pilot today. <laughs> me fly plane today. Very turbulent. Sit down. No fappy. No, no seatbelt extender. Fat bitch. <laughs> you, so, today we go to New York City. Today we will fly to LaGuardia Airport. That's my favorite accent. What the ding dong? Yeah, dude. Yeet. If I, I if I could do the uh, Angela Johnsons. If I could do uh, uh, um, accents, you can. No, I can't. Just, that's just I would block. be the most racist comment comic in the world. It's funny because you're pushing it as it is. You know, you're right there. <laughs> you're right there, dude. Yeah. If, I, if, I, if I could do an Asian accent, I might just do like, uh, you know, I I would do everything about it. All right, I look, I, we got to do... Oh, let's tell them, what's your name of your pod? I don't even have a name. I just... Report. I thought you said you had 20 people to listen to, the losers. Yeah, every week. But I change the name every week. That's, That's good. That's great marketing. That's yeah. good. All right, so guys, <laughs> if you want to figure that out, just follow the clues. <laughs> if you want to fucking... There's a guy with a, in, a, in a trench coat with a suitcase in New, in Central Park. You go up, you Red Fox, and then, and then just follow the clues. Uh, you, know, yeah. you change it every week. What are, you, uh, what are you fucking on the run? You're, like, you're <laughs> hiding from the FBI. You know, it's something about like the most unwatched podcast, like those things. It is crazy yeah. to think sometimes on YouTube when I'm going through YouTube because I have my recommendations, right? I pay the $10 a month for which is the best investment I've ever made. $10 a month to have uh, no commercials on YouTube. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I just it, haven't brought myself to do it. Is it only 10? 10 bucks a month. I, I, I haven't seen a commercial. It's great. But then I'll have like all my channels I want, you know, like the the uh, Joe Rogan clips, obviously, because I'm part of the mafia. What Joe says I do. Shout out, Joe. Shout out, yep. Joe Rogan. Big fan. I'm going to be playing the Mothership St. Patrick's Day. Fuck yeah. Call them Tyrell and friends at uh, the Mothership. It's sold out. Yeah, yeah. That's it, amazing. It's already sold out. You fucking lose. Why don't they add a show? I think they might add a show. Hell yeah. Problem is I need to book the acts. You know, I did. I, <laughs> I booked a lot of acts and then they eventually they were like, actually, I'm not going to do it. So who knows, folks? It'll be a nice surprise. There'll be a lot of comics there anyways. But yeah. yeah so course. the big the big dog's going to come in. So I have these recommended shows, like all in podcasts. That's Chamath's podcast, the four David Sachs, the, yeah, the yeah. four brilliant uh, guys. Um, but then I'll have like this one random thing come up. And has like, it was like two weeks ago. And it has eight views. And you look at that and you're like, yo, is that guy crazy? Yeah. And that's me. I know. That's my content. But I'm like that with fucking... <clears throat> I, do a, I do a solo episode. I got 3,000 views. I'm like, am I insane? 3,000? Yeah. Is that good or bad? I'm saying that's bad. Really? I think it's in the, the eye of the beholder. Oh, friend, no. Because, if this episode dude, does less than 3,000 now, <laughs> oh, fuck. I think less than three <laughs> means... Next, next, less than three, uh, less than ten. It means you're like niche underground. You know, that's oh. what it means. You're, you're like an underground. The FBI definitely. If you've been doing this for, it's like the guy who t I saw. No, a like let me do this ad read. <laughs> right before okay, we get into the, F the FBI, let's sell product. We got it. 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 This is big it. money. Support. The problem is, I always forget about them. Um. All right. This next commercial comes from HelloFresh. This is like one of those pre-made. Uh, meal kits. Yeah, in the, in the mail. It comes in the mail. And then you got your week. You've got your calories. You're going to eat so much HelloFresh that you're going to need smaller True Classic shirts. Oh, All wow. Right? Yeah, that's It's great to use two different things. Okay, here we go. So, your New Year's resolution is to actually sit down and eat dinner around the table. That's awesome. But what do you do when your schedule is totally packed? Turn to HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a meal delivery services that sends farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal res recipes right to your door. Farm to table. I wouldn't legally say that. 
All you have to do is follow directions and dinner is served. That's not in here. It's, <laughs> it's organic. You know, everything's organic, right? <laughs> you're just, just pasture-raised, full of protein. You're just adding in shit. Fucking uh, just test in there. There's testosterone in there. Uh, these meal kits are good. This is the issue is with the meal kits. I get them and then I stop getting them. And you gotta you fall out of the habit of them. But they are fucking good. If they show up on a Sunday, especially if you're, you're tracking calories, you hit the gym, you're doing it like that. Yeah. All right. Oh, me? Oh, am I doing yeah, it? Yeah. Oh, I hit the gym every day. Good man. I do yoga every day. Do you do yoga every day? I, first thing, I, I have a routine every morning. Oh, in the house? You're a little solo yoga? I, I wake up. I walk my dogs. I do yoga. I do breath work, and then I get to go. What's breath work? Wi- wi- like, a Wim Hof. Yeah, yeah, like, like the, that one. The cold shower thing. Yeah, yeah. But I do it. Then I I cold shower before I came here. I yeah. Okay. So you do the breathing instead of the cold shower. I okay. do both. I do everything possible because I if I didn't, I would kill people. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I, I do yoga once a week. <laughs> That's enough for me. The problem is it's too much hippy dippy horse shit. You know Ten to I mean? fifteen minutes like a day. You walk in there, and then and then next thing you know, they're like, "Okay, guys, you feel that stress in your shoulder? That's past trauma." And you're like, "No, I slept fucking weird." I went to. Uh, I love the hot yoga. Let's get back into this commercial. Oh yeah, right, we, right. We'll go on forever, dude. Um, whether you're vegetarian, counting calories, pescatarian, which I believe is only your F- fish, fish, or cooking with for a large family, HelloFresh has plans to suit your lifestyle. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Collie free and use the code Collie free for free breakfast for life. That's crazy. That's actually a good deal. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life. Uh, HelloFresh.com slash Collie free with code Collie free. Hello, Fresh America's number one meal kit, and they're not illegally. Let's say that if that's not true. Uh, I actually used when I when I was in Toronto. I used Hello Fresh. It's pretty solid. Yeah, it's a solid little thing. Yeah. Get your little meals. Do you guys do that? I've used them. Yeah. Not do you often. like to cook? I like to. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to cook now. This one. That's like one of my New Year's thing. Why is that? Uh, it's just better for the family. You think so? Yeah, it's better for the family. Like in, in terms of what? Just getting together and spending some time? Yeah. You're saving money. You're going there and you're picking up the groceries. You get together. You eat together. You get to cook. It's like it's a good I, experience. That's how I, I do it on Sundays now. Sundays, I don't do any more shows unless I'm on the road. So it's family day. Family day. Sundays, I come back, crock pot, put something on. We fucking pr- try to do- fight while the food's getting ready. There's no fight. There's no fight. <laughs> you put it on, and now you're like, in eight hours, this will be ready. Don't afterwards. talk to me for eight hours, all right? It's like the, <laughs> the little quiet quack pot's on. Uh, I so do- Sundays, Sunday's my new day. No shows. Try prep for the week. Figure out what I'm gonna do, like in terms of the schedule, and then Sunday I just try chill out. You know why I don't meal prep, dude? Because every time I do it, I do it for fucking dude. three weeks. Huh? Every time I meal prep, you're like fucking Maniscalco. Every you time? ever get yourself <laughs> some made fresh? What was it called? <laughs> Hello it. fresh. You get Hello fresh, more like goodbye stale. <laughs> and that's what happens by by day three. By day three, the food I don't want to eat it no more. So I'm making this Hello fresh. I made a and I take it out of the fridge. <laughs> and I have to purse some holes in the film. It has the film on the top. You never peel the film. You got to purse it with your fork. And then you go, it says do three. And I go, da, 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 da. like I fucking, like he owes it, mo- like he owes me money. I was like, I got to put him in the microwave. And he I does pre- a big act. Yeah. <laughs> I so I put him in the microwave. <laughs> And I press the button. Boop, boop, boop. Where's the Hello Fresh button? There's no Hello Fresh button. There's popcorn. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> it says it says three minutes. I gotta tell you, I've got this microwave. It can tell you <laughs> what the weather is like outside. I don't know how to use it. My dad walks in and says, "When I was in Italy," but uh, I press quick cook. Six times, and that equals three minutes. I walk away, and then I never eat it. I forget about it. Oh, so I never, I never eat it. Yeah, and so uh, I, I, I did that for Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving. I went out, American Thanksgiving. Oh, because uh, in Canada we have a different. Ah, uh, you do. Yes. Yeah, so when I, is yours? 
Yeah. So, and when, then, when is yours? When is it? October. And the American one's in November. That's nice. Double dipping. No, I love... No, Canada, I don't celebrate it. But here Why I not? Ce- here I celebrate because we fucking took the Indians' land. So... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what happened? <laughs> I, 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 it did. I just don't know why you said it like that. Because we fucking, we they fucking got what was coming. I thought we were doing characters. These fucking. <laughs> so, I'm at this casino. These fucking feather heads are saying to me, "Ooh, boop, 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 boop. I said, "Hey, Redskin, fuck off." So I walk over to the fucking craps and I roll in the dice. Kudush. <laughs> He's like, these fucking, How do you these put salmon this on face YouTube? fucks. <laughs> hey, you, hey, salmon face, you fucking. <laughs> How do you put this on YouTube? Uh, we don't monetize. We just lob it out oh, there. Okay. No, okay. no monetization. So you can't get in trouble? Cannot get, I don't know about getting in trouble, but I just stopped monetizing. It, yeah. was, it was a pain in my dick. Um, <laughs> and it was also, I might bring back one of these things. You know, I don't know if you, when they do Kill Tony. They kind of like have a long 10 minute sort of a pre-episode yeah. sort of a thing. And that's so that they can get out of that original. You're not allowed to curse for the first 10 minutes of any Right, video. right, right. And if you do, then you're demonetized. Oh, he does actually do it. So they have one. a long like t- 10 minute thing. The yeah. problem is, is then you get all these fucktards in the comments going, uh, episode starts at 12.50 and you go, yeah, yeah. skip ahead, you fucking retard. Skip I, ahead. I actually watched that show. That's one of my favorite shows to watch. Kill Tony? I love it. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I lived through so many open mics in re- reality. I don't want to go get fucking... I, I don't want to watch more open mics. That's the way I feel. I love to do it. Love to do it. Everyone tell Tony Hinch to bring the fucking... Oh, the yeah, Irish why, alligator. Why, bring the Irish alligator. Why wouldn't you do it? I don't know. I just haven't done it. Dude. I don't really know Tony like that, you know? Uh... Don't know any of those boys. There's something beautiful when I watch a show like that where I'm like, I wish they could do that in professional sports for every fucking Tom, Dick, and Harry who sits in the crowd and yells, who hates their life and they yell at the athletes. Yeah. I wish they could just fucking, you think you could do it better? The same thing they do with comedy. You think you can do this? Yeah, yeah, get okay, up there. Yeah, yeah. Here's a fucking bat. Here's a helmet, you little faggot. And now... <laughs> This has been a wild episode. Is it? I thought this is normal. I, it is. It is. It Isn't is, it this is. normal? It is. This is how normal. I am on every podcast. I know. I know. It's why they wanted you back. The demons. That's the problem. The demons on the Patreon. Wait, what do normal oh, wait, people talk let about? Me, by the way, JJ did the Patreon. Join the Patreon. 1008 for the year. That's a deal. You can, 1008ers. The 1008s. Yeah, yeah. That's what 1008ers. They, no, they just, they don't, they don't call I, them the 1008ers, but it, it that sounds better. They go shout out the 1008. You say 1008s. We're the 1008. Uh, but if they can walk around being the 1008ers, you could start nah, a call. It's eighter. like 8ers. <laughs> no, eighters. It's like the, <laughs> what's the, uh, what was the, the Irishman? What was it? The Jimmy Hoffa. What do they call it? They, they call themselves something. Uh, the local, what, the Teamsters? The locals, the, Teamsters. That's the whole point. These aren't correlated at all, all right? Stop at your random brainstorming. The Teamsters sticks when... If, if Sign up for the fucking <laughs> Patreon. It's a dollar a month. You get an extra episode. You can listen to that episode with uh, JJ on it recently. Uh, it is limited, that dollar deal, but I'm going to extend it. We have 500 people in out of the dollar. I'm going to extend it to another 750 because I want more people with no money to be able to enjoy the feeling of community, join the 1008ers, get to hang out with the boys. The group chat is flying over there. Really? We have like a little chat, like a like a group. Right now? Yeah, it's on Patreon. Oh, sick. They're not live streaming oh, this right now. Oh, I thought now. it'd be live it's, right now. It's just like a fucking group chat for the boys. Uh, so that's what you do. Head over to... Uh, I've had so much coffee right now, I'm, I feel delusional. Did, did you, you had more coffee... When you text me said I'm gonna pick up some coffee, that was like you want more. Oh no, I knew I shouldn't have had that. I have, that was more coffee. I have those grinds coffee pouches. I got I got Ryan a deal, and okay. he does it, Never heard dude. Of that. Oh man, you put it in your mouth and you fucking go. What you're just chewing coffee grinds? It's caffeine. It's a pack of caffeine. That nah, get like rid caffeine. of that. Get out of there. Yeah, I see I, you have a coffee machine. I respect people with coffee that's machines. A good machine right there. It's a. Well, you look at the cure egg. The cure egg. I don't, I don't fuck with. It's the other one in there. I fuck with. Espresso. That, an espresso. That's an espresso Keurig-y thing that I never touch. 
My girl Mate. got that because she was a fucking impulse buying. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she doesn't use it? Rarely. The problem That's... is the pods are expensive. But I saw somewhere you can make your own pods. You buy like reusable pods and stuff them. But that that one in there, that's my actual baby. That's I didn't a, see that. That one's a good one. That's, Our, like, uh, that's actual... like it's not a hot it's a it's it's a thermos. It's not a hot plate. So it doesn't keep cooking. It's a thermos and it's a real fancy it's fucking price of a small dog that guy was. In... Uh, and you, look, if you're drinking coffee every day, you might as well have a fucking the best coffee you can have. You... But gotta get rid of that. I'm, I tried to cut out. I've tried to coffee. Cook. I've tried to cook, limit it. Why? I tried to. I, I just, just have one cup a day. Well, then that's fine. One cup a day at a certain time a day is just where I'm trying to get to, and I it fluctuates. If I'm hungover and I'm wrecked and it's six o'clock and I've got shows, I'm sure I'm not gonna fucking have another coffee. But I try no coffee after two type of a thing. Oh yeah, yeah one might... large coffee maybe around twelve to two, and then that's it. Then during the pandemic, life was so good. I had money. I've never had money before. <laughs> Where's it gone? The gun? Where's it gone? Oh, the gun. money. The money's oh. gone. Right? Where's the gun? <laughs> now that I'm broke, where's the gun? It's going to be in my fucking mouth tonight. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hope the lighting's good on this. We don't really know. If anyone's watching on YouTube. What happens then? If the lighting's not good? You, no. Some, are, guy, some guy gets a free product for slightly less fucking quality than are these other people, free Do products. they complain? People are always complaining. What do they complain about? They just go, hey, man, what are you doing? <laughs> you people you've never met in your life. That's all they do is complain. So I they did... chime in just being like, yo, man, hey, don't I don't know if you know, but I'm actually a fag here and I don't like the color tones in the background. Really? Know? That's kind of what they say. And you're like, what type of losers fucking I never get offended by the comments, but I love reading them. And mm. someone last week I did uh Ryan. Someone's Long. on a someone's on a write down. Some I bet you the number one comment on this is JJ is the man. I bet you that's the number one voted comment in this episode on YouTube right now. So I did the boys cast with Ryan Long last week. Yes. And multiple people said, oh, JJ Lieberman's on hard pass. And I said, then go fucking jerk off on Reddit, you incel fucking loser. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It doesn't bother me. It's it's no. I love it. Well, you, I just did a whole episode on Patreon where I was talking about Reddit. And I meant that I spent five minutes because I started posting shit on Reddit. And clips. Even, yeah, but even despite people saying don't, to people say go to like f like the Reddit funny forum because mm. that's like more people just want to see and say if it's funny or not. You got the stand up, you got a bunch of nobodies literally going, um, didn't love the, you know, mic technique type of shit. And you're like, no, what? Stop I, it. I didn't post it. I have a clip from me. At the fucking cellar. I didn't post it here for you to give me feedback. But so everyone says, don't post shit to like stand up comedy. And I said, fuck it. I'm going into the belly of the beast. That's like saying there's an alleyway around there. A bunch of Puerto Ricans don't walk down there. I was like, oh, right. Let's fucking go. And baby. so they went after you. I went in and I dropped the fucking clip and I said, why do I suck at comedy? And then everyone started Stop telling it. me why. And then I started telling them why their mother's a fat whore. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, your dad's a queer and your mother's a fat whore. I was going nuts. And they were like, eh, a little bit too aggressive, buddy. I'm like, oh, fuck you. That's a pretty good messaged, idea. Someone messed, someone said, uh, sorry, uh, Someone said something about the industry. Uh, so, uh, too too thin thin skin for the industry. I go, I'm in the industry. You're not in the industry. You're a voiceless nobody on Reddit. What are you talking about? <laughs> Give me your example. Where? What's your resume about the industry? What am I going to tell some fucking bitch that she can't get her fucking uh, her paintings in the moment? What are you What are you talking about? <laughs> Hold on, it I is just, crazy. If you went to whatever, I did an I did an hour on the last podcast about that. <laughs> Me you, just feel mad. If you went to art, like if you went to uh, like some subreddit, yeah, and you literally had your fucking useless. Like that's why I don't get people who get upset about the comments. Like some of these people, like I've seen uh, people have breakdowns, usually women in, in entertainment, yeah, and they're like, these people are so harsh, and I'm like, you really fucking. Give these people, yeah, an absolute platform. I know to but shit on you. I know, but this is the thing: is the problem. What I was feeling was that everyone kept saying, like, "Don't." There's this weird idea of like ignore the comments, ignore the trolls. Just like, I love the trolls. Say all that type of stuff, and I go, "What are we doing?" 
I don't give a fuck. I was like, I'm like, I feel like when I go out there, it's like getting attacked by a pack of wild dogs. And I love like, oh, it. I'm not a fuck it. I have my big yeah. fucking, my big fucking flame on a stick. <laughs> Come on, you cunts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking, Just a bunch of migrants who've I go, been Let's put go. up in the, yeah. ho- uh, you know, bunch of like. Uh, bunch of fuckers on a, in a caravan at the yeah. border. I'm not a fucking fucking yeah. fuck it, dude. It's like they're saying, but that's the way comics are pussies too. They're like, oh, don't. If someone writes a bad comment, don't say something. I'll, I'll fight you. I'll yeah. fucking fight. Let's go. Yeah. Take me out. Well, you're. Come on. That's the thing. Come on. You're good with your words. Why wouldn't Let's you want to engage? Someone said, and also someone, this is what I just remembered. Someone wrote a comment and they literally go, ah, professional comedian, bit of a stretch. <laughs> and I was like, no, it's a factual thing. That's not, that's not like a, that's not an opinion on the, on the, you could say the joke's not funny. You can't say, that's like saying I'm not from Ireland or something. It's yeah. like, no, these are just the facts of the, the world. Facts. These are the facts. Uh, Wednesday, I don't think so. And go, no, it is. It's, it's Wednesday. It's if you're a prosecutor or a defense attorney, you say these are the facts. That's how it is. You're, you're all, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this guy is a fucking loser. <laughs> Some people don't know this game of, the, let me tell you something. I'm not being, I'm let's not be, vicious. Let's go. Let's do I, it. Uh, Come on, James. There's a frumpy bitch <laughs> who's, who, who <laughs> is in comedy. Frumpy? And she took like a shot at me. And I let it go. Hello, frumpy bitch. I let it go. What do you mean in comedy? How, how, what scale are we talking here? Open micer. Oh. Gets the occasional spot in the club. Gets a little, a little frumpy, a little dumpy. And she- Little she, wobble, little she wobble. She gave me a bad intro once. And oh. I go like this as I'm walking oh, the stage. Over O and H? I go, hmm. 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 As I grab the mic. Hmm. I did it to, into the mic too. So the yeah. audience, and they're like, huh? And I went, hmm. She called me a pedophile. <laughs> that was my intro. She called me a pedophile as my fucking intro. <laughs> and then some, she said something. <laughs> if you want to know why I was up at 7.30 this morning, because I'm thinking like, this yo, frumpy bitch. I haven't gone in out of respect to the people around because I will make you cry. Yeah. I will not. I will be vicious to the fucking core. Yeah. Like there's a scene where Lisa <laughs> Lampanelli is talking about Patrice O'Neill made me cry. Good, because you couldn't handle it. You shouldn't be in this fucking business if you can't fucking handle it. If you can't handle it from she another knows, comic, what's going to happen when a fucking entire... <laughs> okay. All okay. my neighbors are like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck is Lisa Lampanelli? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Fucking your I was, hyperventilating here. Oh, I almost went in. Well, she probably was trying to just be funny, though, was she? Or maybe she just didn't really know. No, she uh, she's trying to be funny, but I'm like, you're picking the wrong fucking. Because chicks get heart. crazy with those intros at the shows. Like chicks are the most. You can't mess around with a chick. Bringing them up on stage, like you just can't. You can't. It's, there's no chance of you going, yo, this next girl, watch out, because you you might not understand her because her mouth's so full of dicks. So- <laughs> you can say that about the any guy though. This next guy coming on stage, he's a fucking. For nook. <laughs> so I said that to so I was like, give it up for that incel after I got off uh the kid got off stage and people were dying laughing. But you can imagine if fucking say that uh, about Chicks hate chick. it. Chicks hate it. Uh someone brought up Corinne they- as Ms. Your next mm- comic, Ms. Corinne, and I'm in uh, the back. Oh my and god, I, it's so funny. A feminist bringing up a feminist as Ms. Yeah. And I hear that and I start Howling. clapping like a fucking seal, like <gasps> yeah, I'm sure. I love that stuff. Yeah. I'm still all for the like the gender war and comedy. I love it. Yeah, I think they all kind of grew out of that, did they? Yeah, it was uh, 2000, 2014 to two. When again, this guy, this guy's texting me. He's fucking a fan of the show. No, not a fan of the show. No, Hello He's Fresh a, about he, the ad reads. No, nah, no, this isn't live. <laughs> this is not a live thing. I'm saying I fucking work some guy's club. I hate this. This is I'm, a few times this year. I work these clubs and then they make you fill out the form, the W9. W9. And then at the end of the year, they go, hey, man, uh, can you fill out this W9 first? I go, I did it there. Yeah. You know, you should just have one. I should be allowed to not. And email it. Some guy did this. The fucking balls. I was in Connecticut a few weeks ago. Yeah. And and they didn't get my address right. The okay. guy The guy DMs me on instagram without adding me as a friend and he sent the dm and i, I purposely time, said go, go no 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 but it's different what was he doing he sent me a dm he's like hey can you do me a favor and i'm like yeah favor will be done when you add me as a friend so i left him on scene i swear to god you said that oh fu- no i didn't say that i did i 
Dude, you're like a 42 year old man, and you're. Like, I am. I'm 43. <laughs> I am. You're like, oh, you gotta have me as a friend, bro. I know. Gotta have me. Bro. No, and I grew up in the 80s. That was disrespect back then. It's you know, disrespect. If we had, all right, yeah, we got some questions from the Patreon. Okay, come see. Hey, columnterrell.com. I'll have a link to the Patreon. It's only a dollar. Join up. Like we said, we don't monetize these episodes on YouTube, right? We're lucky if we get those ad reads. But I haven't looked in the camera once. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Okay. I just I'll... I just check in to see if I'm in the center, but I'm invisible. I'm pretty much blacked out. So, are you? I don't know. I'll figure it out in post. I can do a little magic and go white, white, white. By the way, thank you white, for white. stopping me in during that rant. I was about to. You were just going a bit loud. I didn't really mind. Yeah, some dumpy bitch called you a pedophile. Mm. And then she said something. Yes, she threw a dig at me, but they're not funny, right? She's not at that level. Yeah. And so I'm like, I can't go back. Give me, a, give me a little hint. Oh, I did. Give me, give, give me a little telepathy, right? So she so goes. I've been watching this guy Oz. Do you know Oz, the telepathy guy? No. He's like a fucking. He he, he goes and he like. I heard there's a Brandon yeah. Brown guy who does something like that manipulation. Darren Brown, maybe. Darren Brown. Yeah, Darren I heard Brown's he's right. unbelievable. Yeah, but this guy Oz, he's like he was on America's Got Talent. He did like Matt and Shane's secret podcast, but he's, he's always great. On, he's always on barstool sports doing stuff with like football players. You know, he'll go to the Jets and then convince fucking Wilson that he's good at football or whatever. Really? But it's, no, he's able to play, and all the boys, and obviously, of course. It is a stereotype at this point, but black people reacting to magic is the greatest, one of the, the greatest, greatest joys, yeah, yeah. one of the greatest joys of mm. all time. Like it's a jealousy thing, I think, where white people go, I wish I could enjoy, I wish I was stimulated that much. To oh just yeah, like, I wish I could celebrate, ah. celebrate yelling the N-word. Um, yeah, so look, we got some questions here from the Patreon. Head over there, it's only a dollar. Help support the pod. Um, this is good. Oh, that see is me on the road, columnterial.com. I got loads of fucking dates. Loads of dates coming up. Do you enjoy- and I'm, I'm opening on the road with someone that hasn't been announced yet, so I don't want to say. Do I know but, who. But we're going I know to- who. I know who. What? what um, tell, I, me, tell me one word about them. Just describe them with one word. I can't. Just do. Describe me with one word. Come on. Be, if I do, can I do the obvious word or no? Just say one word. Yeah, do the obvious one. Machine. No. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's not. No. Bert, I'd love to open for birth, actually, but uh, no. I'm going, it's someone else. Um, oh yeah, I needed to do the telepathy with you. I'm gonna try predict the name of this person who called you. You don't know her. How would I not know them? Because she's like an uh, open micer just getting into. All his. right, let me try. I'm gonna figure out. Uh, let me see. Now we've never met before, right? We've never met before. We, uh, there's no way I could have known this. From I've been before. doing your podcast. I've for been, a no, year. We've never met before. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you start a magic trick. Oh, you, oh, it's like a figure oh, okay, of speech. Okay. We've never met each other before. There's no way I could know this about you, right? Is the is the girl the dumpy one? Does her frumpy, frumpy, and dumpy, frumpy and dumpy and lumpy and um? Does she? All right, let me figure it out. Does her? There's the first letter. The, the first letter of her name is it beginning with? Um, <laughs> does it begin with an S? No. Oh no. fuck, that would have been great. What does it begin with? Uh, T. But you know, okay, she no, did right, say whatever. that. She did say she a took, dumpy T, huh? Well, she from- said one thing to me yesterday, like trying to be funny again in front of a bunch of guys. Like she has that hey bro, like the hey bro. Oh hey son, Andre. Andre told me that she's like, oh, I'm not gonna hug you, or she's like, oh JJ doesn't want to hug me because he's weird or something like that. I go. You're not even a seven in comedy. <laughs> all right, all right. And then Che was there. He went, whoa. I'm sure that is, that's a good Che impression. Um, all right. We got a couple of questions here from the folks at home. Uh, oh, that's been great, man. Stupid ass question. I should have had this prepared before the... Uh, this, is a, this is a question. This comes in from Benjamin Lloyd. Um. Hard to know if this is a real question, but get your questions in at patreon.com slash column tour. My wife and I just had our first kid a little over a year ago. By the way, there's merch that we've now made for the 1008ers. Well, I haven't made it yet officially, but I'm working on making it. And you can win that merch. You can't even buy it. It's a, it's exclusive. exclusive. It's exclusive and elusive. And you can only win it by getting your questions read on the podcast. Oh, right? really? Yeah. So, and then what do you do? You send it to them? I send it to them. Oh, wow. Yeah, all loss. I'm just a nice guy like that. Yeah, it's and like my, my wife and I career. just all right. Benjamin Lloyd, my wife and I just had our first kid a little over a year ago, and in the past couple of months, she has turned into a goddamn sex fiend, which isn't entirely too bad. But I also work twelve hour shifts, so I'm not always in the mood, especially after getting fucked all day from my <laughs> damn job. Lol. So, needless to say, 
how can I get over being a pussy so I can get some pussy? Good question from Mr. Lloyd, Mr. and Mrs. Lloyd. We just had our first kid over a couple of years ago. Well, you got to tell me how long you've been together. That's crazy. I think I think fucking your wife every day is insane. That's oh, like, that's like that a, seems like a chore. Especially like, that seems like a version of pervertedness. That's like if a guy was out there getting pussy every night of the week from different people, you go, "What are you doing? Man? You kind of got it." It's exhausting. Exactly. Especially with women, like with guys, as as an expert of both, who um, who's had both. Uh, guys are. It's easier to do it with women. Need a production. Most women need like a whole. That's why sometimes I actually like to fuck people who are ugly, like women who are ugly, because they don't want the whole production. That's why loads of men like w fucking women that are ugly. Yeah, this is like a weird. This is a thing. I heard Huberman talking about it. Really? Shout out to Hubes. Yeah, well, he's just talking about a lot of men won't date. Someone who's better looking than them. Most people won't date people who are better looking than them substantially. Well, that's hard because for me. they. <laughs> <laughs> what are you left with? You're left with that dumpy seven, dude. <laughs> you know, um, so I was being this good looking. But they say uh, people won't date outside of their class because they kind of it, it's too it's too hard for them. Oh, that... like like imagine a, a model model comes up to you and it's like, hey, I love you. Let's start dating. There is a part of you go. No, I do it in terms of the peacocking. I love to date out. As, I always date outside of my class, obviously, for mm -hmm. the peacocking reasons. Mm -hmm. Like I like it's that thing, you know, the uh, from Moneyball where the scouts, there was a f uh, player who had an ugly girlfriend and they didn't want to draft him. They're like, ah, he has no confidence. And that's <laughs> and that that's a thing I think about when because you could bomb and you bring around someone who's hot. And they're like, yo, but JJ must be funny because look yeah, at the person yeah, he's with. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. there is that thing. And there does. But in terms of the sexual relationship, someone who's out of your league, you always have to put on a performance. So you have to like be, yeah. you can't, you think about not coming quick. And then you're like, oh, I also have to take Viagra. So I, I'm not into my head about not coming quick. There's so yeah. many things going on. You have to make them come they're harder to make them come. Everyone who's ever wanted to fuck them has always wanted to do their A game. You're playing in the big leagues when you're you're, you're with a nine leagues. or a ten. That's where you got to go. Like yeah. you get down, get down right to the fives. That's a nice, pleasant life at the fives. Take, take a Sunday off, make her a crockpot. She's happy. Well, there's two ways of having sex. Oh, there's it's like eating the natural way or the gay way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I prefer the. Gay I double way. dipped on my friend. Well, there is the two ways. There, there, it's like eating, right? There's two kinds of meals. There's, you want to go out for a nice dinner with your girl, right? And that's how, what sex is. Like, it's a whole production. You get dressed, you shower, you go out, you pay a lot of money, you have a good time. Yeah. But then other times you just want to nut real quickly. It's like eating cold cuts by the fridge. <laughs> okay. Right? But yeah. women don't get that analogy. They're like, yo, let's do this in five minutes and be quick. Yeah. But which works for a guy. Yeah. But it doesn't work for a woman all the time. Not, I don't know. Everyone's different, man. There's no real solution. But having sex with your wife is pretty fucking gay as shit. Yeah. Man. You know what I mean? There's a certain Especially time. There's every only, day. How many times can you really like- Once a week's great. I don't know. I think it's crazy. I, I talk to some people and they're like, yo, it's like every night and I've been with my girl for 10 years. And you're no. Like, you're like, what is that? That's crazy. Why? I don't know. They hit their head as a kid or something. Maybe they Who? didn't watch porn until they were 18 or something. Comics? I don't know. No, not comics. Oh. Either. Someone who's, they <clears throat> must have never been like. All the comics, no comics fuck because they're all on hymns trying to regrow their hair. <laughs> so like, if you ever see a comic on stage talking about fucking the girl, no, he, that's memories of, that's memories, or that's, he's heard that through the grapevine because he cannot get <laughs> yeah, hard. He's ripping off. He is. He's um, ripping off a story from a civilian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he heard the Nuba driver say that one. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, 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 I love getting hard. And no, because they're all on fucking Rogaine. By the way, I still take Rogaine. That's pretty stupid, eh? Yeah. You might, wanna, you, might, uh, you might have a case study there to pass for a refund. <laughs> Try to do it. It's a class action you lawsuit. Can, you does, can say, yo, look at this. Does your hairline have the same hairline as J.J. Lieberman? Yeah. Or? And they go, and what happened? It, it, it didn't work. Does it look like it fucking worked? <laughs> no, it did work. This is what I wanted. <laughs> I love it like this. I used to be so afraid to lose my hair. Now no, I can't yeah. even imagine. Yeah, it doesn't even make a difference. I'd like to skip. I feel like I want to skip because I'd like. I always felt somewhere in my life, I always felt like I'd have a real good looking face, like a real. I always felt somewhere I'd just, I would hit my like late 20s and. Oh, oh, that I, you'd be good looking. I felt like I'd have a real. Do I, you? That's what I was asking earlier. Do you look at yourself and you think, not bad? Like, you look at yourself and say, I'm hot. Like, I. I got that'll do. Yeah. I, I, can, I know how to manage it too. 
I used to look at myself. I now have to manage it. This is the thing is I've been driving this car for a long time. You know what I mean? Oh, it's yes. like saying like, Expert. oh, don't you want a better car? You go, dude, I've had this car my whole life. Like right. I know how to drive it. Yeah. I'll get us to the destination. Yeah. So I know how to, I know how to, the personality to match. 400,000 exactly. miles is not that bad when I'm behind the wheel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm saying is I know how to handle this car. You know I actually I mean? look at myself sometimes. And then like, also maybe even being ugly is probably like a benefit. You know, because you kind of just give them the old, and they're like, "Why is this ugly kind of?" Oh, you know your facial. They like that. They yeah. like that little bit. Of, give them the give them the. Little but bit I notice about give you. Give them the look. You, <laughs> you, 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 you keep your teeth well. Do I? I, do I, 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 I brush my teeth all the time, but somehow because I guess I love coffee so much, I, I figure yeah. out. How to get? Uh, do you drink coffee through the straw? That people do that. No, I, I, I don't give a fuck. I don't I know, give a fuck. I know, I know. Fuck these people. I they know. want my teeth. Like some people, coffee in a straw is kind of gay, right? I have to say, like I love Joe Coy, but those teeth are way too white for me. Yeah, I only just changed my opinion. I always said I was wanted teeth that are so white that people go, "Come on!" Like Simon Cowell, Joe Coy. Yeah, but now I'm like, now nah, you tone it down a thing. Have them just. Good enough. You want to look like you blow dudes through make, glory make no holes. Mistake, the day, if I ever sell out a weekend, and this is what people need to know, is you sell out weekends, when you go down and you don't sell any tickets, you're making like a grand. <laughs> what? That <laughs> much? <laughs> what? what? You're making a grand to two grand, depending on the market. What? Really? If you sell out then, you're making between 10 to 20 <laughs> grand on these shows. Bro. <laughs> If I could fucking more than that, bro. If yeah. you do the math, it depends where you fifteen hundred tickets. Not in my, not in my, not, not the clubs that I play. <laughs> Maybe Yo, but the clubs place. you get a thousand dollars. Yo, I make four hundred dollars a week. It ranges, of course, because you're featuring for fucking Jay Durant. And Durant. Yeah, I'm right. no, they they take. I'm every. sure they hook up you. Up. Yeah, they. Hook but I'm up. saying, if you sell out a weekend, then you could be getting. You know, this is what the, whenever I get contracts, they write down like potential walkout. And you go, yeah, but I'm not ever like I know. Potentially, What's a potential walkout? Like so, they, like if you sell out the whole weekend, you could get this. But it ranges. Some places there is no difference between. And the bonuses. Them. That's what I'm saying. It's that's a yeah. So they'll add up the whole bonus possibility, and at the end, they just do. I don't know why, but they just dangle it in front of you for some reason. Where they go, hey, just so you know, you could potentially make this by playing my club. But you've been with people where they have they sell out really well. Yeah, it's wild. Well, only uh, Ari. I did a weekend with Ari. And oh. the Ari's big Jew just came out. We're in Pittsburgh <laughs> improv. I thought you were saying he's a big Jew. He is. I, <laughs> hey, these are both true. Both things are true without making. But Jew had just come out and he, he he did. We did like seven shows or something. Tonight. No. Pittsburgh improv is great. Yeah, it's like a big old 400 seat. I'd love to get back, dude. I fucking saw a lot of tickets. There you went night. there. Yeah, with the solo note. Do you? I, I know we have to go soon, but do you bring people yet? Are you? Or you can't. If I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one we brought someone because he was already open for me at the weekend, and and uh, we did Soul Jolts, and then we tagged that show on, but uh. we drove fucking seven hours to fucking the show, and then I'm bringing people like on this weekend in Connecticut and things like that. But I'm not flying. Who? I'm not flying some cunt to Chicago. No. Who do you? Uh, is there anyone in your crew that goes with you? That's really uh, fun. The people I usually use is Dave Caggiano. I don't you know, know who him? that is. No. What about Johnny Salami? Johnny Salami's coming who, on. Johnny, the guy who does the filming for Ryan? No, Lil Johnny, no. No, Lil Johnny's not getting up there. Um, uh, hello, um, uh, okay. I said, um, okay, um, so, um, uh, a man, uh, a man, a man walks into a bar and, um, oh, Hitting shit. his fucking vape he's nonstop. Just, um, <laughs> yeah, he's just, uh, so, um, a man walks, a man walks into a bar and, um, little, Johnny uh, Cakes, we used to call him. We used to, uh, we used to call him Johnny Cakes. On the podcast? On the pod. We used to produce the pod, but we used to call him Johnny Cakes because we said he was like that little guy on top of a wedding cake. <laughs> <laughs> so we called him Johnny Cakes. <laughs> Which, by the way, welcome to the stage, Johnny Cakes. And he goes, um, oh, uh, okay. Um, so Joe, um, um, so Joe Biden's pretty old. Um, uh, he, uh how old is he? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Bi Joe Biden's so old that his birth cert is in Latin. <laughs> we, oh my God. Joe, Joe Biden's so old that. Um, Do you ever think about just putting people like that up for a couple minutes just to see it? I know, but I've invited people like you on the pod, <laughs> which is our same sort of experiment of going, all right, let's see what happens here. I think the new era of the pod is fun. We're on the couch, I'm hanging out with like. Some of the most uh, social outcasts I can find. <laughs> that's uh, that's why I think there's uh, sometimes sometimes Ryan will go to me. Ryan gives me free, and so does Che. But Ryan on a Thursday night will go, hey, hey. hey. Oh, on the Thursday show goes do what do do what you want up there he, this weekend. He he says he goes 
Yeah, you, you know, is it, just remember tonight's Thursday. Like, it, oh yeah, yeah, because yeah. it is a different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit older, and then you come out going, "Yo, I'm fucking gay," and sometimes I fuck twinks. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll always give. It's like my dad, right? Like he'll, uh, like my dad, like you know, he's he has so much stock in me. I'm a high school football player, mm. and he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, because we always talk, and, he, and some when I walk by him, he'll be like the the good ones. I'll be like, that was good. As a, as yeah. a, oh, you'll, 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 but then the ones where I don't do it, he just walk, he just walk right, by, and I'm right, like, oh, he just, fuck, he just, no ice cream. He just walks straight by, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. fuck, I missed the fucking pick six. Has I he fucking dropped the pick? The bet, he's the bet. To me, the the great, honestly, is like one of my closest friends, one of the most brilliant minds in this game. I've I've just run on. Oh, dude, the way yeah. he dissects comedy. Yeah, he's yeah. done this. Has he been to yeah, the fucking couch? He hasn't been to the couch yet. No, oh. the couch is running brand new. You're only you're only the third person on the couch. <sighs> this this is a bigger one, huh? This <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is a bigger one. All right, everyone, check out JJ. Um, all this stuff. Will the be podcast like with no name. The podcast with no name. Just hey, if but that's meant, not the name. If if, it, if it's meant to be, you'll find it. Right, you'll figure it out. Probably, once you subscribe though, and if people keep changing the name, it still downloads automatically, does it? It what, it does what? If I subscribe to your pod and you change the name, it still automatically downloads it to my phone, right? It's on YouTube. It's only on YouTube. Oh, your your special your podcast only on YouTube, dude. I set up a camera That's... like this, but on my phone, and sometimes like, because I don't check it. Oh, right. It's like coming up to my chin. Of course. That's what this is on me. Like, I'm the black devil. I'm just like, I'm just a shadow. That Well, hey, if they ever call you a racist, you can always say, look, I'm black. That's true. Um, it's great. All right. Thanks, everybody. Good luck. Appreciate it. Um, bye.